currently farm on the Shropshire Paris border with my husband. Um, we've been through the tender application process ourselves. Um, in 2012 we applied for a Paris County Council small holding uh, which was a mixed um, beef and sheep farm and then in 2015 we uh, went on to apply for a larger uh, council holding which again is a is a mixed beef and sheep farm uh, so I do have an appreciation of the tender process from both a personal and a professional point of view my main piece of advice even if the application doesn't request it is to prepare a business cash flow um, particularly with livestock farms it's going to take you about two to three years to get into a normalised um, budgeting year um, as you'll be purchasing stock uh, to, to build up the, the stock to stock the farm as opposed to just replacement stock so you really do need to plan for that um, also for purchasing um, machinery equipment um, things like that um, you must always be conservative with your income figures and realistic with your expenses things are likely to cost more than you uh, than you had first appreciated and your income is usually lower than uh, than you predicted as well being an enthusiastic farmer is not going to satisfy the bank manager um, your bank manager is going to want to see that you've thought about timings um, particularly in terms of income and expenditure. For example, when are you likely to have your BPS payment in? Uh, when are you going to have environmental stewardship payments? Are they going to be late because you're a new entrant and the RPA or Welsh Government are having to take additional time to process your application? Um, are you going to be selling stock as stores or finished um, which is going to have an impact on timing. So um, it's really a key thing to think about when is income going to be coming into the farm and when, it, uh, when are your times of high expenditure. I can help with the whole process from viewing the farm right up to the interview process. Um, so initially I would go out with the potential applicant, we would view the farm together, we'd look at suitable enterprises for the farm, uh, the availability of modern traditional buildings, whether there's a farmhouse, is the land ring fenced, um, etc. We would then translate that into a business plan. Now the business plan needs to be clear and concise. It's likely that the landlord or the landlord's agent is going to be receiving quite a few applications and therefore yours needs to stand out and be one that the landlord or his agent can uh, read quickly and um, is also memorable to them. Uh, part of the tender application usually involves the uh, production of a cash flow as well so as we've talked about previously this needs to show key times of income and expenditure um, and if you're a new entrant it's likely that it'll take a couple of years to get into your normalised cash flow so we would normally show a three to five year cash flow um, to show that once you've got into your normalised year that your farm is then profitable, profitable and um, also viable. As the final uh, step to the process I would help the applicant to prepare for an interview so we would run through potential interview questions um, and, uh, and and get the applicant used to being in an interview situation. Uh, my top tip for an interview would be smile. Um, you need to come across uh, friendly because the landlord is ultimately going to be looking for um, an applicant that he can have a good working relationship with going forward into the future. Hey.